city like Ahmedabad, uh, we are focusing not on one particular project, but we have a net zero cell, which is dealing with eight sectors, 25 subsectors, and 85 specific strategic action points. So we have multiple projects, and all the departments are being aligned. They are being realigned, as I would say, to so as to achieve the net zero target in a time a time defined manner. Well, let us take the example of the road construction cell. Uh, broadly, we would say what it has to do with the net in, uh, zero target. But as uh, we know that we are processing the solid waste which is being collected from the entire city, we are collecting to around 4,000 tons per day. Out of that, the inert material which is being segregated out after the bio mining process, we are using it in the process of construction of roads. So it is basically an end-to-end -end process of reusing the material, including the waste material. When we come to water supply department, we have in place the SCADA. Uh, I would like to mention here that using SCADA, we are being able to curtail at least 1% of energy consumption per year for water supply system in the existing system. So we are trying to have technological interventions in every department by which we can attain energy efficiency. The impact so far is, I would say, uh, again, it differs from sector to sector. Now let us take the example of the road transport, the public transport system. So what we observed is we are consuming around, I would say, 15 kilowatt uh, of units for charging of buses. So what is happening is uh, there was 4,000 dead kilometers. The buses want, uh, wanted to go from the last point to the charging station. A total of 4,000 kilometers of dead kilometers was being charged. So it was not at all energy efficient. So what we did uh, through the net zero cell is we had opportunity charging stations. So what we did is at the start point and the end point of the major routes, we have charging stations. So only by this intervention, we have been able to reduce the 4,000 kilometers worth of dead kilometers to 600. So, I mean, similarly, we are trying to have interventions in all the sectors. So if you ask me for a specific sector, I would say, uh, which is directly in the green sector, we have a captive wind, plant, uh, wind capacity of 21 megawatts and a captive solar plant of 7 megawatts. So we are using the power which is generated through the renewable sources to have green projects. The key challenge, I would say, is funding. So the projects, the list of projects is endless. The targets are huge. Uh, again, Ahmedabad is a city, a rapidly growing city. So uh, considering the population of around 8.6 million, the infrastructure demands are also huge and they're growing by the day. So what is happening is uh, the project from conceptualization to execution stage, what was originally being planned, and by the time it is delivered, the capacity is already exhausted. So there is a dire need to prioritize projects. So what is to be done with the available funds? Because we definitely cannot take up all the projects together. So now the prioritizing is happening, but I'm happy to share that the prioritizing is also happening on a basis of uh, energy efficient scale. So the projects which will contribute more to energy efficiency all will reduce the emissions and will be people friendly and disaster uh, management friendly. They are being prioritized. Uh, would say is we are trying to figure out specific uh, action points. The departments are adapting to a new strategy. They are uh, realigned to the net zero uh, targets. So currently the capacity for energy efficiency within the department is limited. So we are trying to have specific action points for everybody so the message is clear and the line of action is clear down the line. Uh, other cities, I would uh, first like to say that we are more than willing to learn. So if you have any best practices, please let us know. We will try to adapt it. Secondly, uh, my message, uh, if I were to say, is uh, the net zero targets are not unattainable. What is required is we should have specific action points and timeline oriented uh, plans so as to make them attainable. If we uh, think of a long term, I mean, uh, what is happening is, oh, 2070 is uh, way ahead. So we have a lot of time, but that is not the case. We need to have a micro planning. We need to have a five-year plan, an annual action plan. Only then we'll be able to attain the long-term time. Uh, 